Well, the time is now 18 minutes past the hour. This week, we're kicking off Wake Up on the Radio Week. News 4's Ali Ingersoll was live at Star 102.5 and got the behind-the-scenes look at how the crew gets ready for the week. Waking up and riding into work, there's a pretty good chance that you're listening to this guy here, Rob Lucas. He's been broadcasting over the airwaves for decades now, and he actually fell in love with radio by being a listener. Good morning from Rob Lucas. Kind of a different, odd day. You're hearing something, and you're almost looking at the radio, or if you're listening on your phone, at your phone, wondering what they lo look like. And that sense of mystery paired with his ambition brought Rob Lucas here to the star studio standing in front of the mic. Every day is different. Um, and I know a lot of jobs are like that, but not like this one. It's just, if you've ever been in radio or broadcasting for a day, it's like working in another job for a thousand days. Being on the radio is something he's been dreaming about since he was a young boy. Radio under the pillow, uh, headphones on, discovering albums like Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run that I borrowed at the Hornell Public Library. Kind of married that into a career. A career with many moves to different stations around the states before finding his way to western New York. There's so much that everybody in broadcasting, radio and TV do that people don't even see just to get something on the air. Let's get to the news of the morning, and good morning in for Randy B. Good morning, Rich. When you do a show like this, your prep never ends. He says that's one of the many changes he's seen over his decades on air. There is so much to do with Facebook and Twitter and social media. There are so many more behind-the-scenes things. For Rob, his favorite thing is being able to talk directly with listeners and aims to connect with them as they're waking up, hitting the road, and starting the day. You mix that with the news of the day and the music you want to play, and hopefully it's a good recipe in the end. Rob's on Star 102.5 every morning from 6 to 10 a.m. That's when you can listen to him. Reporting from the Star Studios, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4.